Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Attic, and uh, just after I finished my last video, I was uh, getting up ready to leave my desk, and accidentally I dropped my drink all over my microphone. I tried to dry it, tried all the tricks, but unfortunately, it was gone. Now, backstory done. This brings us to the topic of today's video, the DJI mic. As always, when I need to purchase something, I started doing my research on what best suited my needs. I need to be able to record audio in my office, as well as on the go, as I'm considering adjusting my video format. And I also needed something that could record clear audio and was user-friendly, and I'm not terribly technical when it comes to mics and stuff. So after extensive research, I had either the Rode Wireless Go 2 or the DJI mic as my as my two finalists. Um, and as you may have already guessed from the title of this video, I went for the DJI mic. I just want to make a quick video about why I chose this over the road and hopefully it may help you to make the right decision if you're also considering like I was. So with the road, charging is done individually, meaning you have to charge, you have to have three cables if you wanted to charge them all up together. Whereas with the DJI mic, it comes in this tiny case, which holds enough juice for 15 hours of use and charges them all in sync. Talking of sync, every time the case is apparently open, both transmitters and the receiver all sync up. So in effect, they should never be disconnected from each other. Using these adapters, I would never need to carry anything apart from this case. This is an adapter for the iPhones, and there's another for USB-C devices, which has me covered. So whichever device I decide to use, I am confident that I can connect my mic up effortlessly. A simple feature, but very clever nonetheless. With the Rode, I would have to clip the mic to my clothes and I don't really wear shirts all the time so having it attached magnetically through my top felt really intuitive and easy and yes these magnets are very strong so shouldn't fall off. It is way easier to transfer files from this onto my computer than with the Rode. Apparently with the Rode you have to use their proprietary software to select each audio track individually, select what codec, etc. you want, then export it, which seems really tiring to me. With this, you just connect it to your computer and drag and drop like a USB stick. Much simpler. Admittedly, this is not something I use at the moment, but if I was to do, say, an interview, having individual gain on each mic is a very useful feature, I think. I'm able to get, I, I am able to set the gain levels on each transmitter individually, so if one person speaks louder than the other, I can adjust it accordingly rather than raise or lower levels for both equally. Other than these points that I've mentioned, I think because I trust DJI as a brand, although this is their first try at a mic, and I like the little touches and especially that case and the fact that this is a newer piece of text than the road. So I'd be getting newer chips, etc. I feel that this was the best choice for me. Maybe I got sold by all the paid YouTube reviews or maybe I was already a little biased towards DJI. I guess only time will tell. I will try to do a follow up in a while so that you guys know if I still feel like I made the right decision. So hit that sub and bell icon to be notified if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions and what you think about the audio quality. This whole video was recorded on the DJI mic. Anyway, so if you got any value from this video, please leave a like. It is very much appreciated. And if you like tech stuff and travel films, smash that sub for more content. As always, guys, stay safe, stay creative.